Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Oh wait, I should get some earrings. Hold on, let me get some earrings. We need to spice this up a little bit. Okay, I'm back and I got me some cute earrings. Now these are from TJ Maxx. <laughs> I don't know who's the actual like seller of these earrings, but they're cute. So we just gonna go with it. All right, so you guys already saw from the thumbnail, I am back with another Marc Jacobs tote bag unboxing. I guess this is who I am now. This is my whole identity. <laughs> Just kidding. Honestly, like, I have been kind of lusting after the Marc Jacobs tote for a while. You guys already saw I bought the brown one, and I'll show you guys that again. And when I got it, super duper impressed. So I decided to use the money that I saved from that purchase, because if you watch that first video, I'll make sure to link it down below. One of the things I said is that I purchased from Bloomingdale's, and they were having this sale where you got all these extra loyalist points, which converts back to money to spend at Bloomingdale's. So I actually got $125 back from that purchase. Now granted, the bag itself was $5.95. With tax, that made it over $600. So better get some coins back. <laughs> so I actually took that money and invested it into... Not one, but two Marc Jacobs bags. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be unboxing both of the Marc Jacobs totes that I bought. I'll tell you guys why I picked up uh, the others and hopefully you get a good sense of what they look like. And because these are new products to my collection, I will probably come back and do like a what fits in each bag sort of scenario. So you get a sense of the different products that can fit because I did get three different sizes. Okay, so just to refresh your memory, I have my brown bag here. Now this is the large leather Marc Jacobs tote in the shade Argan Oil. Love this. It is actually filled with products because I took this to the office with me yesterday. So I did get a chance to test this out in real life. Y'all, the leather on this is so buttery smooth. Like it's just soft, buttery, smooth, smells good, feels good, all that fun jazz. So I am really happy to have it. I did fill it to the brim yesterday just to see, you know, how far I could test it. I will say that even with it filled with all the products that I needed and then some, there was still a lot of room in there. Granted, the more you add, the heavier it gets in weight, so I wouldn't overfill it. But what I like about this is that I feel like this is the perfect work travel bag for me because some of my other tote bags, they felt pretty stuffed with like half the products that I had here. So this gives me more room and it just feels a little bit more comfortable. So again, large leather tote. Wanted you guys just to see what that looks like. So to rum roll please, the first one I'm going to unbox for you guys and it did come in this Bloomingdale's dust bag which this one actually doesn't come with a dust bag officially but here we go. Let me zoom out a little bit. cute so this is the mini canvas tote in the color slate green now this one does retail for $175 like I said I did get back $125 in loyalist points so I actually used that to purchase this bag um, and I decided that I wanted to try the canvas just to see how I feel about the canvas now this one definitely is smaller, it's a little bit less structured than I think the leather bag, uh, but I really liked this color because I, I love neutrals and I think that this would go well with everything. So I haven't even opened this up yet. <laughs> so here we have all of the products in here. Now it does have a strap because unlike the large tote, the mini, everything smaller than that does come with a crossbody option. So let me just quickly cut off the strap so you can see. Okay, cute. So it is a basic black strap. And if you follow Marc Jacobs as a brand, you will know that they have more designed, more branded uh, straps. So if you wanted to switch it out, you could actually purchase one of their other straps. This is literally just a basic black strap. It doesn't say Marc Jacobs anywhere on this at all. So there's no actual branding on this with the exception of... Yeah, this little piece here has Marc Jacobs engraved in it, but that's pretty much it <laughs> for this strap. What I don't like about this now that I have it is that it has silver hardware. For the most part, I only wear gold and gold products, so I'm not in love with the silver hardware, so I might actually just replace the strap, but that's neither here nor there. So here we have the bag. It does come with the black crossbody strap. I will attach it so you can see how it falls on my buddy, um, but let me like shape the bag and take out the rest of this stuff. So there's just more filling in here. And there's a little booklet with the information. 
Okay, so let me give you guys a little bit of information about these specs. I fluffed it up a, a bit. This is actually pretty small for a mini, but I think that this is great. Uh, it is, again, in the canvas material. This is the shade Slate Green. So you have the white tote bag writing. Uh, and this is kind of like just printed on, so it's not like any sort of stitching or anything. And then in the back, you also have this additional patch um, that just says Marc Jacobs style the tote bag, location, NYC, year 1984. Now, in terms of dimensions, it is 10 inches long with a depth of 5 inches and a height of 8 inches. So that is sort of the size of the bag. The handle drop, which is this, sort of this handle piece here, is 4 inches. So with that, you can definitely hold it on the crux of your arm like this, but I, it's... It's not gonna go all the way up to your shoulder unless you have the smallest arms in the world. I don't, but it's definitely one that you would like hold on your wrist. So uh, there's that. Now it does come with a strap. Like I said, the everything smaller than the large comes with a strap. The strap is 57 inches in length, two inches in depth, and oh, no. So the strap is 57 inches in length and yeah, two inches in depth. And it has a drop of 27 inches. So with the mini, I think there are a couple of things to note. This is just a giant open bag. There are no internal pockets. Now the medium size and the large size, they actually do include an internal pocket where you have two separate areas as well as a card slot. This one doesn't have anything. It's just a big open pocket. You can of course insert an organizer in there if you want to. Now, like all of the tote bags, it can zip fully shut. And that is one of my favorite features of this bag is that you can zip it fully and none of your stuff is gonna fall out, which I appreciate. The other thing to note is that unlike the mini, there is no magnetic piece here. So this just kind of hangs out. With the other bag, with my large bag, this strap actually includes a magnetic piece and there's another magnet here so that when you tuck it in, it stays. Now this does stay pretty well, but there is no like magnetic um, sort of safety closure there. And because it does come with the crossbody straps, it does include two little hooks here so you can see, so you can actually attach the crossbody straps. So this is the mini. Um, I like it. I really, really like this color. I think that this is a great little everyday bag uh, if you aren't planning to carry a ton of stuff. Now, what I appreciate about Marc Jacobs on their website is they actually have a little size guide so you can figure out what fits in each bag. Now, they does say that for the mini, it fits small tablet sizes as well as all wallet sizes. So this would fit my iPad, it would fit my wallet. If you have anything smaller than that, it would fit as well. And just to test it out, I do have my iPad here. I don't know what version this is, but <laughs> we're just gonna test it to see. So I have the iPad. Okay. Yeah, it fits fine. There's still room in here for a ton more stuff. And I'm gonna zip it just to show you guys that it fits and it zips and there's still a ton of room in here. So definitely good for like if you aren't carrying a ton of stuff. And then my other bag. I haven't even opened this yet, you guys. So we're doing this together. Can you guess? Oh, you can already see it peeking through. Okay, I'll make sure my hands are clean. But. Ah. Isn't it beautiful? So this is, again, the Marc Jacobs tote bag, except this is the medium size and this is the Jacquard design. Uh, so it's actually two tones. You get the lighter color and the darker color. And the shade for this is actually called Warm Sand. I really wanted this bag specifically. <laughs> this was the bag that I kept looking at and I was like, I don't know if to get it because it is so light that 
it will be hard to clean. Like this is gonna be one of those bags that you have to baby. You have to make sure that you're putting it in the right place. Make sure you're not like, if you wear makeup, touching your face and then touching the bag because then all of your concealer and foundation and all that stuff is gonna get on there. So I was real worried about it. But you know what? Your girl went ahead and bought it anyway. Now this style does retail for $325. Um, did I pay $325? I think I paid $350. Yeah, no, so this does retail for $325. And this is technically canvas. Now, this is more expensive than if you were to get the medium tote in just the solid color canvas. I believe those are, let me check for sure. Those are $195 if you just get it in solid colored canvas but if you do get the jacquard design it is 325 and i feel like that's kind of stupid but i really wanted this design so i decided to go ahead and get it now this also comes in a black version where it's kind of like flipped you have the black primary color and then the outside is that lighter white color but i really wanted this lighter design i just feel like this is so cute it's so neutral it's like really just pretty and i've seen this everywhere and i can't stop thinking about it so I decided to go ahead and get this because I feel like I would have just kept buying bags until I got to this one because this is the one that I really wanted. Now as with all of the totes, it is it does have that zipper up top which is the best feature so let's go ahead and open her up. Lots of stuffing um, which is great because with canvas it tends to lose its shape pretty easily and like I said anything smaller than the large comes with a crossbody strap so let's unwrap this okay so the strap on this is definitely a little bit more interesting than the one on the mini it does have the same sort of jacquard design where you get the dark and the light sort of two-toned straps again that's pretty much the only significant thing about it because it does not have branding anywhere else like some of the other Marc Jacobs straps that you can buy on their own. Uh, it does have the Marc Jacobs imprinted here as well but that's pretty much it. And if you wanted to buy a Marc Jacobs strap they're like $95 and if you purchase from like a Saks, a Neiman's, a uh, Bloomingdale's you can always use like coupon codes and um, like points to pay less. So that's what I did. You know your girl's not paying full price for nothing. Um, Okay, so this one did come with a dust bag. Now, the interesting thing about some of the canvas bags is that they just don't come with a dust bag, which makes me sad, uh, but I'm glad that this one did because, again, I'm really worried about this color, so I'm doing my best to keep it clean and not have to deal with, like, getting it professionally cleaned. So it does come with a dust bag, so I will be able to store it, which is awesome sauce. Now that all of the pieces from inside are out, let me show you the inside of the bag. So again, it is just a giant open pocket for you to store stuff. That's just kind of like the whole tote bag thing. It's a big open pocket. Now, unlike the mini, but like the large, it does have this sort of storage area here. So you do have one zip pocket, two sort of open pockets, and then a card slot here. So you can store certain things in this sort of interior pocket. But for the most part, it is just a large large um, open space. So let's talk a little bit about the dimensions. So this bag is 13 inches in length, it has 6 inches in depth, and a height of 11 inches. The strap drop, which again is this little, I'm um, sorry, the handle drop, which is this little part here, is 5 inches. So it's only 1 inch bigger than the mini, so you can get it, it is predominantly for like your wrist, you can't really get it all the way up like with the face one. Um, it's meant to be carried on the wrist. So that's the, the height. And the strap is 57 inches uh, long, 2 inches depth. Um, and the strap drop is 27 inches. So pretty similar to the mini. But yeah, this is the cutest little, cutest little bag. Now let's go to the style guide. So for the style guide, what they say is that this actually will fit a 13 inch laptop. So if you have a MacBook, air you would be able to fit it in here easy peasy i've watched a ton of videos of people using this as sort of like their standard work bag um and they're able to fit like their macbook their notebook and all that fun jazz here now seeing this in person i am glad that i decided to go ahead and go with the large version for work because while i think i would be able to fit my laptop in here really comfortably i don't think i would have had enough room that i wanted 
You know what I mean? I feel like I wouldn't have had enough room that I wanted and I don't necessarily want to have to carry this as a crossbody. Like I love the option I have with the big leather bag because the strap, the handle drop is so big that I can walk around like this. I work in the city again, so like I like having my bag really close to me so that it's just like, I know everything's here. The crossbody piece, I don't know if I would have loved that for work. So I'm glad that I went with the large for my work bag and that I decided to get that in leather. I do think that this is really cute for, say if I decide that I don't wanna work from home today so I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop, uh, I might just pack really really lightly especially if it's not even like work if I don't want to edit and be at home while I'm creating content I can go to a coffee shop and do that there uh, one other thing that I saw in someone else's video that I want to point out is the bottom of the bag now the bottom of these bags this one doesn't have any sort of legs to support it or protect it from getting damaged which is different from the leather version. I'm trying not to spill everything off from in my bag. So there are legs at the bottom here to protect it. One last thing about this bag is that because it is the medium size, it does include the magnet here. So once you slip this in here, it attaches to the other magnet and just stays put. Okay. So that is it for the bags. I'm really glad that I have all three now. It does come in more sizes, so if you wanted, there's a micro size and there's an extra large size, but I'm good with what I have. I think I'm done with Marc Jacobs for now. Um, but should you get a Marc Jacobs too? I don't know, it's up to you. These aren't cheap bags by any means, but I do think that there is an opportunity to get to stay relatively affordable if you go with the canvas option. However, I do think that the canvas options are just sort of harder to keep clean, um, and they can't take as much as a, of a beating as the leather options. I really like the fact that I have this leather bag so that I can travel with it and not feel worried about it getting scratched or scuffed or dirty from like makeup or anything like that because it is leather and I can just sort of wipe it off. Whereas with these canvas bags that I just picked up, I know that I have to baby them a little bit because they can get dirty really easy and it's not like I'm throwing this in the wash. So that's just something that you should think take into account if you do plan on picking up any of these. Am I glad to have all three of them? Yes, because I wanted all three of them. So they're all gonna get used. And I did try to stick in that sort of neutral family with, you know, the brown leather toast, the jacquard medium, and then the slate green mini, so that it could be worn with multiple outfits. So I'm also super excited that that's how that's gonna work. All right. So that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy seeing this little bag content. I will do like a larger video later on, on sort of my handbag collection. It's not extensive, it's not crazy. I don't have any super luxury bags, but this is, I still spent a pretty penny on all of these things combined. So I really wanna be able to show you guys so you get a sense of all of the um, bags that I have. But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed seeing this bag content. Let me know if you wanna see a what fits in each bag video so I can show you like, Here's what fits in the mini, here's what fits in the medium, and here's what fits in the large. So you get a better sense of the contents. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. You, we know it's a vibe here. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you have picked up any of these tote bags, if you want any of these tote bags, all of that fun jazz. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!